もし貴殿が気高く生きようというのなら決して敗者になってはならない<笑> It's so great in the fact that it's so over exaggerated, but also 100% right in a way. <laughs> you know what, though? There's a trade off between like safety and passion sometimes. Like, I've been on both sides of the power dynamic, and I think it is sort of safe to say that typically there is power skewed in, in one direction or the other. It's great when it's somewhat evenly distributed, but there's always going to be a slight edge for one person, or usually. But I feel like for the person who has the upper hand, if we're looking at it in these terms, it's a little bit less sweet. There's something unsatisfying about it. I'm not phrasing this very well, but I feel like there's a connection between adoration and all the sweetness that that brings and danger. You know, and to be in the lesser role, let's call it, which I don't think is actually lesser, might imply that you have access to something really beautiful. You've tapped into an energy or a certain depth of experience that people only dream of and doesn't come along very often. Whether or not it's healthy or good for you depends on how that manifests in the relationship. But just isolating things, there's something really great about that kind of investment, that kind of attraction or desire. <laughs> Wait, is this the same episode? Am I watching the same episode twice? No, it's just uh, <laughs> explaining again. <laughs> In summary, we're, we're very elite, but whether or not we're elegant remains to be seen. This is so different from my high school experience. I can't imagine being excited by like student council members speaking. Although maybe my student council members didn't look like Kaguya or what's his name, Miyuki. I love how we're, we're evaluating her by her assets. Money, <laughs> right, her endless talents. But all she really wants is wieners. Me, Yuki. <laughs> That's the name of the cat in Avatar, no? So I got this wrong last time. He's not from wealth. He earned his way here through academic rigor. A shocked and awed gasp falls through the crowd. Everyone, no one is immune. Hey, there's an elegance. Wieners. Wieners and movie tickets. Oh, Kaguya wants to exchange contact info. It's pretty marvelous, isn't it? Let me tell you, this is so right. This is so, so right. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't live in Japan, so Line is not the app for me. But in Korea, the equivalent is cacao. And let me tell you, cacao is life or death. There's, there's nothing that can set my emotions ablaze like the cacao alert. It's just been conditioned into me. It's like your whole social world and your whole dating life and romantic life and, and social life in one app. And there's there's this weird, insane kind of meta game that emerges around like the unread messages and looking for the number one and the, the timing and the emojis and it's a it's a whole thing that is beyond the power of my comprehension. It has a life of its own. It's like your whole heart in an app, and I'm sure most people can relate to that. But I feel like one thing that is different in America at least is we don't have that one app. It's sort of scattered among a bunch of different things. But in Japan, it's Line. And in Korea, it's Kakao. And in China, it's WeChat, where it's like, that is your world. So, I really appreciate that the show is calling attention to that. Yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, I, I understand. He sort of just so casually gave it out. Yeah, it's not wrong. There is a lot of weight these apps carry for some reason. Though I feel like, again, the way to win this is just to be above it and to be really casual about it, really aloof. And that's why they never communicated via line. It would be sort of hilarious to me on some level if this whole show took place in this room. Once again, she engineered this. Right above it, Miyuki. This is a subtle art as well. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's it. It's a gamble. It's an Irwin Smith-like gamble. <laughs> Same scale, exactly. Hmm. Perf perfume. Tears! Oh, should've known. Ultimate weapon. I don't know what she's going on about, but I do know. <laughs> or I do feel. From experience that when a girl cries it means you've lost there's just nothing you have nothing left you have failed guys don't really have that power 
Made in tears. Oh, what's her perfume? She's literally pouring tears on her face. I like how she's had that at the ready. Yeah. I didn't know there's a name for it, but I know it's a real thing. <laughs> Man, played that trump card. Why does he have a snake, though? Poor innocent pawn. Wait, she doesn't have line? <laughs> they both just capitulated. Fujiwara wants to go out. I think we could, yeah, we could all get out a little more of this room. <laughs> I'll pack wieners. That would just be a wrap. I mean, all their game playing would just come to an end. Ooh, pulling out the constellations. That's a pro move. I got an app for that, <laughs> so I don't have to remember. <laughs> this all, of course, is a fantasy. That's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. That actually is just really sweet. The orbiting part. Yada yada. <laughs> and that's exactly how that would go. Because as we all know, the way you imagine conversations going with your crush is exactly the way they happen. Without fail. It's just a law of the universe. Just like when you imagine having arguments with people, that always also goes exactly as it does in your head. I actually have had that date, although it was the beach instead of the mountains. Another pro tip, if you don't know the constellations, you can just make them up. And if you can manage to see a shooting star, which typically if it's dark enough and you wait long enough, you will, that's a really nice setup for a sweet wish. It's really cliche, but at the same time, I feel like it's just people are wired to like that kind of stuff. Few people are truly immune, depending on how much you like someone. If you don't like them, then nothing matters. And similarly, if you do like someone, everything is special. Oh, that works too. They got night there. I feel like it's a win-win, honestly. Yeah, the sunlight is what makes people turn into a primal beast. Let's not sleep on him, though. He may have abs. I mean, you could do both. <laughs> Just thinking pragmatically. But it's not about that, it's about winning. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, that's a bad look. And I don't see any abs. I mean, also, unless we're going tomorrow, you can learn how to swim. Uh, first of all, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Does Florida have the most skilled shark hunters? But secondly, the not swimming thing could work to your advantage because you get her to teach you how to swim. Do I gotta got do all the work for you, Miyuki? Come on. Being vulnerable is not a turnoff. If you do it the right way, I think. Like, to be really easygoing, which he might have a hard time with, admittedly, and to come into it with, like, an enthusiastic, exuberant energy, and just genuinely not know how to swim, could actually be a lot of fun and would be a memorable experience. See, I fought in my share of war. <laughs> foolish you are. I wrote him down. Volume 42. Yeah. All the weaknesses are coming out this episode. And anything else might cost money, which is a huge no-no. When I was living in China, one of my coworkers planned this whole mountain excursion for the senior class and then had to drop out, so I took them, and there was, like, massive flooding, so what was once a mountain trail ended up being, like, a river that we waded through with our bags on our shoulders, and there were a lot of leeches, like, a lot of them. And then we ended up sleeping in a cottage that had no windows. I guess the owners had just gotten used to being bitten by mosquitoes to the point where they were immune. So that was really rough, but it ended up being one of the most memorable excursions I ever took. So that's also not necessarily bad. There's a line there too. If you're doing an adventure, you want it to be a little bit adventurous. If it's too on rails, it risks feeling kind of cheapened, if you know what I mean. My favorite travel adventures all require some kind of difficulty or strain. One of my favorite trips ever was with that same coworker. We rented bicycles and did the entire island of Taiwan, which was really tough, but there was sort of nothing like it. Riding through the mountains and getting stuck in tunnels at night and finally getting in town and just being exhausted and, and eating like a really hot bowl of food. The strain, if it's the right amount of strain, it makes things better somehow. Just having a meltdown over here. He won too, he just doesn't realize it yet. Ooh, maybe you need to rethink this. <laughs> Her bosom looms large in Kaguya's psyche. Offensive cap capacity virtually zero. That's a very interesting way of phrasing it. Never underestimate the power of offensive capacity. 
はべたつくし、人も多いし、サメも出ます。It wouldn't matter as much as she thinks it would matter. They've just totally flipped. Why don't we ask our pawn where she wants to go? Does no one consider her feelings? I mean, that's a、uh, no. Yeah, there you go. Good man. Maybe you can go to a mountain with a lake. This is not a lake. Wait, what? <laughs> I see, going through the romance through fear angle. I have no idea what just flashed in front of my eyes. <laughs> Is it worth going back and pausing? Second year student. Physical trait, offensive power. I like how it specified they were soft. That was my biggest question. <laughs> She has, she's been forbidden from playing games and has developed unusual hobbies such as German style board games. Very specific. I actually can relate to this because I was not allowed to play video games for a very long time, which means I had no choice but to read. Ugh. Books. He's not the one to ask. Wrong. Shirogane Miyuki wants to hide it. This should be good. Zero. Yep. Huge surprise. Someone like this could be a. Man, I remember being really consumed with this. In hindsight, it's kind of sad. <laughs> well, you see, my friend, it all comes down to the quality of your wieners. Oh, you're good. <laughs> you're good then. <laughs> Give her something back. The ignorance is thick in this room. Did she give chocolates to everyone or just this kid? I mean, you never know. You don't want to assume people's feelings, but she's at least paying attention. You could give her chocolates back and see where it goes. Generally, people don't give you things unless they're at least interested. No? He's bluffing his way through this. Hehehehe. <laughs> I don't know what to believe right now in this world of scheming and manipulation. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's, it's not unreasonable to think that. And these girls are just whatever, they're kind of irrelevant. Whoa, well, let's get out of ourselves. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if this is high school, good chance she does abandon her friends for this relationship. Cool. <laughs> this thing, this move, why is it such a thing? What's the name of this again? I can't remember. I feel like this doesn't cross cultures well. <laughs> I want to know the actual name. Kaberon, right? Kaberon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard Kab, Kab, Kaberon. There's a name for it in Korean too, but I can't remember. I guess it just occupies a space in people's minds that it's like a, a thing to be reckoned with. It's a force. You are not fit to give advice. This guy's solving his own problem, as is often the case, I guess. It's always easier to see the fault in other people's reasoning than it is to see it your own. But, wait for it, wait for it. Oh no. Nice save. Well, there's your confession. Not the way you wanted it or expected it. Oh, he saw her. That's actually solid advice. Just, you know, be natural. Say what you want to say. And take a big picture outlook. But instead of taking it as something nice, it just seems like it's just adding points to her weird calculus. <laughs> Glowing. Sparkling. They both won. <laughs> Call me a hopeless romantic, but I feel like there are better ways to <laughs> form a relationship than manipulation and war. What's satisfying about the ending, though, is I think that his confession, even though it was sort of staged, reveal what I guess is sort of obvious, that it's not just her trying to win a battle for the sake of her own ego. It's that she really likes him, and she's scared. That's what this is about, right? Because she's nominally perfect in so many ways, and has that image of herself, which is also a trap. It's something to defend, and is therefore a vulnerability, and is therefore inevitably something that is going to be terrible. That's just how it goes sometimes. You know, to value something means to take on a danger in a sense. But that I think is also not accidentally where some of the best and greatest sweetness of life is found. Looking outside of romance and just speaking more generally about life itself, a lot of times the greatest things you can experience are going to require some kind of sacrifice of something. 
you know, some kind of openness, some kind of vulnerability. If things are truly special, it likely means there's a difficulty in obtaining them. And that's just kind of the cost of doing business. And, you know, I understand there are some people who would rather kind of play it safe and that works for them. And they can find an emotional balance that's healthy. And everybody will differ in the degree to which they're willing to undergo that process. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think it just depends on the individual. If being kind of flat in terms of not experiencing the, the crazy highs and crazy lo lows of life, especially romantic life, is one style and just and works better, then I have no problem with that whatsoever. But I think if you want those highs, generally speaking, it means you have to risk the lows as well. And these kids have sort of tightly wound identities and there's a lot at stake for them image-wise. They, they place a very high premium on perceptions of value and nothing is gonna be more threatening to perceptions of value than relationships with crushes or romantic interests. But, you know, they sort of can't have it both ways. I also feel, and it's hard to put my finger on exactly what this is, but the more they engage in this sort of game, the worse it's gonna be later, the more in danger they are. And maybe that's because there's sort of a delusion happening where they're, they're getting in deeper and deeper without realizing it, but they're getting in deeper in a way that is kind of divorced from any kind of honest exchange or true giving and you got to be careful in my opinion how you build things because dynamics between people have their own momentum it's kind of easier to set a dynamic than it is to change one and so if there are like weird games being played and there's just distrust and manipulation is a tool not saying this is where the show's going but i can see that just in real life coming back to bite them because they're going to fall for each other one way or the other they already have is why they're doing this in the first place. I am curious to see where the relationship goes and also how the, the storytelling goes because it's sort of clear that that's the trajectory, right? But then how do we get there and how soon do we get there, I wonder.